Alachua County has a vibrant and rich arts community. One of the county's greatest artistic treasures is the Dance Alive National Ballet Company. Dance Alive has been bringing inspired and visionary dance to Floridians and audiences worldwide for over 42 years. Alachua County is proud to play a role in supporting this internationally acclaimed company. To Kim Tuttle and Judy Skinner, ballet is an artistic expression and a creative outlet. It can also be an educational tool and a source of community leadership, all of which they strive for with Dance Alive National Ballet. Their passion for dance was kindled early on. I, I'm the generation that just did kind of whatever they were supposed to do. I grew up in the business. I mean, mother taught, dad sang. Um, when we moved here, she taught dance, opened a studio. I demonstrated, assisted. I had no thought or hope of ever really dancing. Um, you know, I had rhythm and phrasing and timing and coordination, but I did not have what I perceived as a dancer's body. Even though the sisters did not pursue their own careers as professional dancers, they did stay on at Pope Hall Studios as dance instructors at the Civic Ballet and continued on with careers in the world of dance. In 1975, they began their own dance company, Dance Alive. Today, the Dance Alive National Ballet has grown into a fully professional ballet company. Well, I'm Kim Tuttle. I'm Artistic Director of Dance Alive National Ballet which has been changed from Dance Alive, I think most people knew us as Dance Alive, we decided it was time to actually distinguish ourselves as the national company that we are and also make it clear that we are a predominantly ballet company. So we've toured 17 states in Costa Rica, it's felt appropriate, we did it and it's been very successful. Dance Alive National Ballet produces an assortment of performances throughout the year designed for audiences of all ages. They usually have four main programs here in Gainesville at the Phillips Center for Performing Arts. We generally try to do a children's ballet, a um, more sophisticated arts ballet, and then a big ballet that's a little different. Like this year we're doing Cleopatra, that's our opening ballet. It's a rock ballet. It has a rock band on stage and it is fun and students will love that, university students as well as other people. Nutcracker, we're doing Robin Hood. That is our large ballet for the family. Then we're doing a ballet spectacular. We're featuring Apollo, our, our longtime friend and principal dancer, Takwan Chu, is retiring after this year. So he will be featured in Balanchine's Apollo. The company recently has expanded their base operations to include regular performances and programs in the surrounding communities. Well, that's a very exciting thing that occurred this last year. We decided that we needed to have a little fiscally more secure base. And our touring can fluctuate. If you're on the state touring program, which we have been, then you're fortunate. But even so, it depends on the economy. Sometimes you have more touring, sometimes you have less touring. So we expanded into Lake City and Ocala and the villages down south of Ocala. A wonderful retirement center that is enormous. It has its own zip code, as you know. And um, we have our regular performances there. In addition to the professional dance company, they also provide an outlet for children to experience the ballet world as well. As you know, a Poe Fall Studio is the official school of Dance Alive National Ballet. Judy Skinner and myself own that studio. And we have a children's group called Next Generation, which is the student group. There are other local dance studios that have a student group. The Next Generation is our student group. Uh, I like to make that distinction because Dance Alive is a purely professional company, very much like the Hippodrome is. And Judy directs the next generation and she's a, a wonderful teacher for children and she's a wonderful inspiration, has a great spirit. So that group is very successful too. We um, began doing educational work many, many years ago. Um, started um, um, applying for funding um, when the state asked us to up until that point in time we had not. We had a program um, which we have called Discovering Dance where we bring in children into um, a performance, into a professional setting during the school day. Um, and with those performances we provide curriculum material that teachers can use. We basically serve an 11 county area. So we have students from Alachua County but from 10 other surrounding counties that come in to see the performances. The Discovering Dance program serves about 4,000 children a year. Dance Alive National Ballet brings an essential form of personal expression to our area, helping to make the arts community strong. To find out more about the Dance Alive National Ballet, please visit them on the web at dancealive.org. For County Update, I'm Shelley Samick.